Constitution tells us that governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed. John Murphy believed those words. He fought for them, and he died in the pursuit of them, not on a battlefield, but on a lonely highway. This film is a detailed account of what John Murphy saw on the night of December 9th, 1965. The events of the evening led to one of the greatest cover-ups in American history, the Kecksburg UFO. I know, because I was there. They threatened us all. John refused to be silent and it cost him his life. Maybe now, we can finally speak the truth. Thank you very much for your cooperation, Ms. Hindman. It's good citizens like you that make our work possible. Agent Donovan will be there shortly. He is very experienced in handling these situations. We were already tracking it in the area when it dropped below radar. Why do you live out here? The beauty. The freedom. I think I'd die if I were cooped up in the city. <laughs> it fell right behind that ridge over there. Experiencing the Gray's powerful neurotoxin. His touch has delivered a toxin that has blinded you permanently. Oh, permanently? No! Are you gonna help me, please? Oh, no. Within a few moments, the team will arrive to clean up this mess, and you'll be taken, tested, no. and held as a lab rat for the rest of your life. Or. Or what? Or I can kill you. <laughs> Trust me. You do.
How are the children, Bob? Cut the small talk. I need that transportation money. Then quit fucking around on the voting rights bill, Cornelius, my friend. It'll pass. Just not with my vote. And then we'll get our money. Right, Landslide? <laughs> West Virginia has one hell of a senator in Robert Burr now. Bird, you're gonna have to give that speech now. Irma dear, would you and Robert give us a minute? Of course, Robert. I have need of the senator. We have a very sick family member. Are you certain? Absolutely certain. Bob, follow me. Hey, everybody. I've got some great news. None other than Robbie will be performing tomorrow night right here at the Palace Theater in Greensburg. Now here is the one and only Robbie singing his hit song, Patty Jean. It ain't super fun to be spying. It's my job to make sure he's all right. He's in love with ambition. But Clutch, he's available. Oh, this is the last flower you give me. Fine. May I speak with John? Sir. Thank you. <laughs> John, my old friend. You only come here if you need something, so spit it out. Need you to put that on the air for me. No. You need it for her. I drove through hell to get you out of Hurricane Ford. That's not the official story. Truth is truth, John. I saved your ass. And I still don't know how you did. My name's Clutch, isn't it? Come on. Play it. I can't lose my job. Even for you. And now a word from our sponsors. Hayden Pharmacy. Don't be too long at the park. I won't. I'm almost most tonight. I'm sorry to interrupt this broadcast, but we have reports from Detroit of an object in the sky heading in a southeastern direction. Are you home? Oh, tell me 
Lady Weller. I'm sorry, Mrs. Zelensky. I just wanted to make sure you weren't frightened. Why would I be frightened? Because Tommy here missed a buck. No, I didn't. Yeah, and Tommy shot too close to your house. No, I didn't. Okay, enough. Yes, you did. I think you boys need to run along. I think I hit it, and it ran through that way. So can I be crossing your yard to go trail it? On one condition. Anything. No more shooting around my house. And if you catch it, don't drag it through my yard. Understood? Yes. Yes, Mrs. Zazinski. Lyndon, as you know, has a hands-on approach to every situation. Perhaps a peacock has climbed on the roof of the ranch again and is shouting, Help! Help! Thank you. For what? For being you. Well, how could I be anything but me? And you can't. And that's why I love you. You hear that? What? That. I gotta get to the station, whatever that was, it sort of fire. Oh, Stan. What? No, no, it's okay. Nothing's gonna hurt me. No. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. 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 I'm just gonna go put out the fire, okay? I shall return. Just like MacArthur. Okay. I know you will. Agent Lee, we are at condition red. Repeat, we are at condition red. Please inform the president. See, David, I didn't miss it. How do I know that's the buck's blood? Can you two cut it out? Poor little Ralph. Leave him alone. Are you gonna make me? You want me to? Guys, stop! 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 Look! No! Whoa, is that a spaceship or something? I bet it's a rusky ship. Why would they land out our way? Because they got steel mills and stuff. It's all the way in Pittsburgh. I want to go home. Chicken baby Ralphie. Whatever it is. Double head. Discovered. Another failed lander. <laughs> Reminds me of the Russians. Great at the big things, horrendous at the details. 9 December 1965, approximately 1600 hours. Special Agent Kirk Donovan and Specialist Hildegard Mueller conducting autopsy of alien that crash landed near Cheyenne Mountain, Colorado. Said alien was dispatched in accordance with OEI Regulation 783.5. Doctor? Ha! Huh. He must have been hungry when he landed. You must stop shooting them in the head. I know the protocol. Germans would have never failed to follow orders. You are to proceed immediately to the Randolph Air Force Base. Please excuse me, Doctor. There was an incident. An object landed outside of Kecksburg, Pennsylvania. You'll be taking an experimental plane. When you arrive, you will re receive direct orders from President Johnson.
flashing eyes or winning smile Ruby cheeks yet all the while Patty Jean, she's so mean Oh, she's got such style Just one dance, I'm begging you Just one chance to do it You all right there? <laughs> A little nervous? Yeah, I mean, um, nervous. I don't know. What do you, uh, what do you think this is, Chief? I mean, yes, maybe a meteor. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe what? 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 Maybe I shouldn't say. Chief, if, if it's bad, uh, just, Chief, if it's bad, I gotta know. I can take it, Chief. If it's bad, I gotta know. Could be Martians. Or worse. Worse than Martians, Chief. There's nothing worse. They have ray guns that melt your brains. And I don't want to melt a brain. I gotta watch the new episode of My Three Stars this week. Could be Russians. That's way worse than Martians. Those guys are tough. And they're and they're, and they're dogs are astronauts. And then my dog's a, a boy dog with a girl's name, Josie. And then my mom's like, oh, I want to name him Josie. I said, wait, she flipped him over. Mom was she said that's some bases. I don't know. What's funny? It's just a meteor, son. You really gotta lay off those comic books. I know. Hold the seventh call we've gotten. In the past half hour. I don't think you should be dismissing them so fast. They might have something important to say. Maybe. Agent Lee! He's with me. No go, sir. He could be a doppelganger. Hell. If he's a doppelfang, a damn doppelfang, then so the hell am I. Now you let him pass, son. Robert, you remember Governor Martin now, don't you? Of course, but he's retired. Aren't you? Only officially, Senator. Mr. President, may I begin? We don't have a lot of time. Ed here is the head of OEI. And yes, go ahead. What the hell is OEI? Office of Extraterritorial Investigations. You didn't think we're the only intelligent things in the universe now, did you? Aliens? Technically, extraterritorial beings, Senator. We have an incursion near Kecksburg, Pennsylvania. Army Reserve units led by an Air Force Colonel Walters are on the scene, and we've dispatched Special Agent Donovan from San Antonio. So we don't have containment? Not at this time. We were receiving unconfirmed reports of an object left in the sky near Pittsburgh. And at this time, we have no idea what or where the object is. We are taking your call at 255 1875. This is WAVL, please hold. I know where the object is. You, you know where the object is? This is John Murphy, and you are? Rosa Zilienski. I have what you need. You, um, you know where the object is? Just come to my house in Kecksburg. I'll take you there. Just tell me where it's at. The military is already here. Hurry. Kecksburg. John, John, where are you going? Chief, look! What's that mean? Yeah. Blue smoke means we don't have much of a fire yet. Bob! Out of way.
That was no fire, retard. First sign danger. We'll go. Okay. So now that we decided to quit being a bunch of babies, which way is fastest, Tony? There. No way. It went down that way. What's my nickname? Trail break. And why? Fine. Just make sure the munchkin keeps up. John Murphy has left the building in search of the object. And... Hi. I'm Anne LeMaster, and I guess I'll play the music. Um... John, this one's for you. Roll up drums and combat boots tread. We're marching the march of death. Who's a man lying safe in his bed? It ain't you or I. Fill her up. Actually, I need directions. Do you know Rosa Zelensky? Everyone knows everyone here. Great. Which way to her house? Rosa Zelinsky. Rosa's good. John Murphy. Rosa, where's this object? I'll take you there. Ma'am, just tell me where to go. Time's a wasting. Trail break was wrong for once. No, we need to go up there. One of us needs to stay down here, Ralph. Yes, yes, yes. 
not sauce. Kids are with cats on. Guys, you gotta get down here! Mel, I need those bolt cutters. Mel, you hear me? Mel, I need those... Contact the president. Immediately, we got two on the loose. Call his name, sir. Romulus and Remus. Have it. You lied to me. I could have done better myself. I seriously doubt that. Lady, I just want my story. Turn here. Oh, you just got lucky. Providence. Luck is for fools. <laughs> I can't see Stan. The analyst. Hello, Sergeant. I'm John Murphy with WCNS. I don't care if you're the Queen of England. Move on. You have to do something. I'm sure your husband's just fine. They had guns on those men. It's just procedure. They're following orders. Orders. I know what it's like, men. Men just follow orders. I'm sorry. Sorry accomplishes nothing. All that matters now is action. And and are you there? You have violated a top secret containment area top secret although this is this is Kexburg. although technically since we've crossed the bridge it might be considered mountain someone needs we to have shut him up whoa stop you have no right to treat an american citizen this way no right are you an attorney no i'm not i'm the guy who served my country in the big one and i know you can't treat us this way don't do this Oh, Chief! Hey, Chief, you okay? You all right? Colonel Walters, sir. You need to come see this. Don't let these two escape. And. And. Answer me. Hey, John, what's happening? His army pickets blocking all the roads. You see anything out there? All I see is that the firefighters are being held by the military. I'm sure it's just routine. Trust me, there is nothing routine about that shit. Listen to Clutch, get out of there, 
get out of there now. No can do. I need this story. Then that means you and Anne are going to follow my lead. Roger. What's the plan? All right, first. Okay, Anne's going to run point here from the station. They got to know that you're out there. Okay? She's going to do the reports. Second. Do you have your camera on you? Yeah. Then use it. Yes. Use it. Take pictures of everything, John. Everything. Anything else? Yeah, there's something else. I'm coming to find you. Anyone ever tell you you're a hero? Play that. I have lights nearby. We do not, I repeat, we do not have containment. May I pursue? Thank you, sir. Incompetent! I don't want any more damn blood on my hands! Mr. President, Lyndon. Damn, damn, damn! Can't anybody do their goddamn jobs? We lost containment! Charlie team, follow me. You also. Sir, Agent Donovan is closing in on the location. The military is not equipped to deal with this. What on earth could there be that the military is not equipped to deal with? We've got two damned aliens roaming around in a populated area and multiple civilian witnesses. Gamora protocols, sir. We don't have a choice. What are the Gamora protocols? Terminate all witnesses. They're just having fun. They're just kids like us, David. Shake their hand. My dad says you can tell everything by a good handshake. I'm sure it wasn't your husband. Do you want your story? Then act. Fine. I can use a flash. I think I've got some low light film. Let's have a look in the trunk.
Take him away, soldiers. Yes, sir. Sir, Sergeant Vogel, please contain the area. Yes, sir. I rarely repeat myself, but for you, I'll make an exception. Relax. That's an order. Good. Now we're here on the President's authority, but we're not really here. Oh, what the hell? Here's something special for the people of Greensburg. It's Clutch Carson singing. He's singing, Even Blind, I'd Love You, Anne. Hey, what's going on? Boy, you need to move on. I ain't no boy. I'm a man. I gave you an order. I don't mean no dis- Did I tell you to put your hands up? Boy, I didn't tell you to move, did I? No. That's right. That's right. You're getting better now. You're getting obedient, boy. Your time's always good with that. You lie to be obedient. Now why don't you move down the road, listen to that jungle music. Okay, boy? Say yes, sir. Simple. There's only six letters. Come on, say yes. Yes, sir. And you keep yourself real quiet. And you just bounce around that music, okay? You enjoy it, don't you? Now you get going. I'm never going to see my mommy again. Yes, you will, but if you don't go now, you won't. Come on. What's happening? Don't worry about it.
you are their leader. I'm the chief, if that's chief. what you mean. If that's what you mean. Well, chief, what did you see? <laughs> I don't have to tell you anything. You fought in the war. Yeah, that's right. Good. At least your life will have had some meaning before it was over. What the hell are those for? Oh, they're for your comfort. You are American citizens, after all. Oh, I don't want to die. 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 I didn't. I never. I never saw a new spaceship. What's your name? What's your name? Mel. 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 But I didn't. I never saw no spaceship. I didn't do it. Mel. We all die. I'll remember you. Why? Because I didn't do anything. I didn't see nothing. Because you're a coward. I don't mind killing cowards. <laughs> he dies first. No! No! No, Chief! Chief, you gotta do this! This is wrong! Are any of you Catholic? This is wrong! Are, are any of you men Catholic? Just me! What's your, what's your name, son? My name is Stan Zelensky, father. This is wrong. This is wrong. Stan, would you like to make your final confession? Yes, thank you, Father. Perestum Sanctum Anxionum Suum Misericordia, Mani Patris Spiritus Spiritus Sancti. There they are. Sir, we need to take a look at this. Agent Custer. We have Category 1 discovered. You want that on ice? Please. You heard him. Let's go. Get it out of here. Get him, please. Yes, sir. We're not going nowhere until you tell me what you saw. Just keep driving, and I'll tell you. It's 
hopeless. Huh. I've seen hopeless. This is not hopeless. There's a spaceship, some reptile creature, and a dead boy. Stan? What about Stan? They put a sack over his head like... Oh, if they want to kill you, they kill you. If they want to scare you, they put a sack on your head. I took pictures of everything. Good. Is this the only leverage we have? Director Martin. Yes, Agent Donovan. Sir, we have a Class C lander. Looks like it had to make an emergency touchdown. And its mission? Two bogeys, codenamed uh, Romulus and Ramus. Romulus is down, Ramus is on the loose. Can you gain containment? Ramus? Possibly. If we miss him, he'll just get picked up by the mothership. Monsieur, um... We have another situation, and I need to speak directly to the president before I can act. Mr. President, he needs to speak with you. Go ahead, Agent. Mr. President, sir, we have multiple civilian witnesses and more arriving by the moment. Further, I no longer trust that the National Guard will follow containment protocols. And a subject has escaped. Possibly with photographs. Or do you have enough OEI agents present? Yes, sir, but if we miss any targets. Understood. Make preparations for the Gamora protocols. I'm calling on behalf of the president. Put Walters on the phone now, soldier. Sir, this is an Agent Kirk Donovan. Who the hell is that? Acting on behalf of the president, sir. This is Colonel Walters. Who the hell are you? My name's not important. But you need a password, right? I'm Jalou. Colonel, do you have the boy? Boys, sir. And no. We are in pursuit. Colonel, you need to bring them in, dead or alive. Do you understand? Sir. Just boys, sir. Colonel, we're dealing with things beyond your comprehension or pay grade. These orders come direct from the President. Do you understand? Roger that. Is he prepared? Oh, we're finished. I've faced death before. But you didn't have anything to lose then, did you? You have a wife. A pretty blonde. How do you know about Rosa? Well, I didn't know her name was Rosa until now. Thank you for that. No, I only suspected it was your wife. You want her to live? You can tell me. Yes. Then you'll be a good boy. You tell me exactly what I need to know. And you won't hurt her. I only do what is necessary. If it's unnecessary to hurt her, I won't. We saw the spaceship. Did she go inside? No. No, the colonel stopped us before. Excellent. One more question. Did you contact anyone prior to you being detained? No. No, the colonel stopped us before. Outstanding news. 
Well, not for you, no Rosa. You said you wouldn't hurt her. No. I said I only do what is necessary, and sadly, it seems necessary for you to have to die. Anne. Anne. Anne, are you there? John, any updates? It did land near Kecksburg. I've got photos of the object and even more of... <laughs> They'll kill Stan. This is the biggest story of my life. Stan is my life! I'm here! I'm right here! Stop it! I'm right here! Stop it, okay, I'll do it. I'll confront them. I'll put them on record. They won't hurt him then. Men only listen to leverage. They won't let these photos go public. Correct. They'll take them from you. That's where you're going to keep them. No. Which one's the best role? What? Which role has the best pictures? The alien. The ship. The first. Give that one to me. You're going to take the rest and offer them in exchange for Stan. What happens if this doesn't work? Do you believe in God? I guess. Then start. Reporter John Murphy has confirmed that an object has landed in a field near Kecksburg. What was that for? No man deserved to die with that last kiss. Take me to a doctor, please. Fine. Just promise me one thing. Anything. Would you tell me I'm my mommy, I love her, and that I'm sorry I yelled at her this morning? I will. I promise. Okay. Let's go. Get him a medic. ASAP. The rest of you, follow that trail. Yes, sir. Bring it back. I want to speak to the man in black. This man says you would want to speak to him? I'm John Murphy, reporter for WCNS. Reporters are so common. I have evidence of this entire crash site. The photos you took? Yes. And I would like to exchange them for the lives of these men. A noble reporter. Now that's not so common. Do we have a deal? No. Nice try, though. 
But I play chess, not checkers. Search him, please. People know that I'm here. Reporters disappear all the time. Nobody cares. Anne? Anne, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. It's uh, Rosa, right? Yes. John hasn't returned. Do you want me to give him any updates? Tell them... Tell them... Put the CV down, ma'am. The army's here. The army's here. In Kecksburg, Pennsylvania. Get out. Anything you like, sir. Right. Robert. Brother, you know this ain't right. I'm just doing my job. You're just doing your job? That's right. So you're gonna shoot a brother? Who do you work for? Will it truly ease your mind to know which government acronym is responsible for your death? Our government would never do this. Seriously? You believe that? We have a constitution. Rights. You have an illusion. I didn't fight in the balls for an illusion. Yeah, you did. Where do you think all those German wonder weapons came from? The bulge was just an effort to buy time. Buy time for what? The Nazis were willing to sell out humanity. You're a liar. I wish I was. Your fantasies are far more pleasant than my reality. It's Mr. Jenkins. Too. Understand that <clears throat> everything I do is for national security. Killing boys is for national security? You're sick. Really? I'm sick. It's easy to condemn when you don't have to clean up the messes. What do you think would happen? If people knew the truth. They'd adjust. Adjust. Stan, what do you know about doppelgangers? Doppelgangers. Doppelgangers. With the Indians, dots, not feathers. Called the Naga. These snake-like shapeshifters. People knew just about them. No one would trust anyone. All of society would collapse. Our government has no right to hide the truth. It has to, Mr. Murphy. For the sake of every marriage. Like Stan's, for example. What about my marriage? What if your precious Rosa were an alien? She's not! So you think. Mm. If she's an alien, then your kids are aliens, too. Don't listen to him. She like eggs, Stan? Eats them all the time. Keeps a tray of them in the fridge. Let me guess. She drinks a very special vintage of red wine that she never lets anyone else drink. 
You're a liar! How many things? I'm no liar. Anywho, I need to call the president, so... Can you please watch him? Yes, sir. Excuse me. Do we have containment? We do, sir. One dead boy, one captured. So there are no loose ends. What about the alien? We still have one alien on the loose, one dead. Good. Forget the damn alien. They always go home anyway. Institute Gamora protocols when the potential arrives. Including the possible doppelganger, sir? No. Bring it in for testing. I'm very sorry for what's about to happen, but... My wife told me about your kind. I'm sure she did. Now where was I? Uh, every life is precious, but unfortunately it is necessary for you to die. So! What gives you the right? The President. Executive Order 9066B. 9066 Bravo. 9066 is the order of the internment of the Japanese. You read a lot, don't you? Sir, I have two more prisoners. <laughs> this is too rich. You can drop the act. But what does that mean? Hate when they don't follow orders, don't you? I hate you. Not as much as you're about to. Stan, don't you have a question to ask? Is it true? <laughs> what is true? It's your. You're, you're one of those d d duplicongers? He means doppelganger. <laughs> Disgusting. Notice she isn't answering, Stan. Is it true? Is it true? Is it true? Yes! Yes, it's true! What about the kids? I wonder that. They're human, Stan. Just like you. And just like me now. Oh, no, no, no. You're, you're, you're not human. You're. You're one of those Doppler things. You're. you're... <laughs> Tell him the whole truth, you piece of shit. Hey, fine. She gave up her abilities. She suppressed who she was so she could have your children. So she is human. My family left and came here to escape the war and poverty. I could have went back, but then I met you. And then she fell in love. Doesn't that just... Warm your heart. I love you, Stan! Yes, the truth hurts, doesn't it, Stan? She loves you, Stan. She lied. The last 20 years has been a lie. Enough of this. Everyone needs to die. Negroes die first. You're a brave one, aren't you, boy? Can I get the name of the man that's gonna kill me? Fine. Special Agent Kirk Donovan, Office of Extraterritorial Investigation. Now say goodbye. Nope. Why are you so calm? Why don't you check my CV, Agent Donovan?
clever. Your kind always are. Who is this? Wouldn't you like to know, Agent Donovan? What do you want? I just want everyone to go home. They've got a tape. A tape of every damn thing. Well, we could just seize it and arrest them all. We don't know where it is, and they're going to play it if we don't let them go. What do they want? They just want to go home. Now, what's the playbook say, Edward? We make a deal. Get the tape. And eliminate. The threat. They're American citizens. You think I don't know that? Sometimes good people have to die. It's all a damn utilitarian calculation. Let them go home, Lyndon. They can't. They'll talk. No, they won't. And even if they did, who's going to bully you? We'll make a damn cover story up. We'll bite some time, and you can find your tape. Weather balloons, sir? No, oh, that was always moronic. Do something else. I know. Let's blame it on the Russians. The Russians. That's right. Perfect. The public always believes it's the Russians. Congratulations, all of you. You get to live. There's just one rule. None of you can talk to anyone, ever. Why would we? That's a good question. I don't think you would. And no one would believe the Negro. So that just leaves... Mr. Murphy, people need to know the truth. Do you want your friends to die? If you wanted to kill me, you would have. You taught him well. Let him go. So what do I call you? Rosa. It's just Rosa. I love you. And I love you. Anne played the record. I didn't have a choice. <laughs> We can't lie to them. The hell we can't! You gone mad? This isn't the country I thought it was. Man. John. John. This is message for all agents. Gamora protocols rescinded. I repeat, Gamora protocols rescinded. Agent Donovan. I have captured the boy. We did lose contact with Remus. No worries. Weren't there multiple boys? Our initial reports were wrong. We have confirmed this was the only remaining boy. And what's your name? Ralph. Are you taking me to a doctor? I can. Let me ask you a question. 
Would you want to go on living? Knowing that you're going to be locked into a small room, tested, held as an animal for the rest of your life. I, I, I just want my mommy. Please, take him away. Yes, sir. Where to? Agent Roberts will give you the details, and don't share them with your men until absolutely necessary. I didn't record it, John. I'm so sorry. I didn't know how! Please forgive me. Tears will not help you here. You're late. I'm sorry, I was, um, I was with, uh... Clutch, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's really wonderful, John. He is, isn't he? You seen him? All those men outside? What do you think they want, John? This. I don't know what I think it is. Evidence. Evidence of everything all on film. Please, John, please, just this once. Can you please just let it go? No, these men are evil. It's my job to bring out the truth. They're going to kill you. It won't matter after tomorrow night. Why? Because I'm going public with all of it. A special show. Objects in the Woods. I'm John Murphy, reporter for WAVL. And I will bring you the truth of what happened outside Kecksburg, Pennsylvania on that night of December 9th. In addition, I will release photographic evidence of the object and even more. Clouds of heartache from my view. Hi, Jim. Hand over the film. No. We will kill her. You would have done it already. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Give me your hand. No, 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 no please. Just please trying don't, to no, John, please help me. Please help me. No! Yet. You bastard! You're right. I am a bastard. A very, very good stock, actually. Let's go. This won't stop me. Then you're a fool.
Fill her up. Absolutely. Four fifty. Any change? Keep it. You should cancel your show. They cut off Anne's finger. But they didn't kill her. You don't understand. I do understand. They'll let you live if you just blame it on the Russians. But it's a lie. Not every lie is wrong. I don't know why I came here. You want me to tell you it's okay? But you're right. I can't. Because you're one of them. You need to leave. I did. Stan, I'm sure you. No, he needs to leave now. Please take care of yourself. Ideals will get you killed. I never thought. This is Object in the Woods. I'm reporter John Murphy for WAVL, and I will bring you the truth of what happened outside Kecksburg, Pennsylvania, on that night of December 9th. I was the first one on the scene, and in the woods that night, I know what I saw. I had photographic evidence, which was stolen from me. I saw a landed UFO, and what I believe an ET and a dead boy, a young boy, and I believe the U.S. government is responsible for these actions. We are not safe. They will take us out. We are not in this world alone, and the U.S. government knows about this. The world needs to know the truth, and I'm here to bring it to you. Hear my words. We are not alone. You know, uh, my name is in the name of has been. Those who have been around long enough to you. Hey, you John? John. I'm sorry. We know you are. Clutch was just telling me why you thought. We can't allow them to do this. You can't stop the government. They took a boy, Clutch. Doesn't that bother you? They take our boys all the time. No one cares. No one cares. I'm gonna stop them. How are you going to do that? You have no evidence. I'm getting it tonight. You're gonna get yourself killed. And this time I won't save you. Hi, John. This is Anne LeMaster. This is Clutch Carson. Bringing you the best rock and roll music in southwestern Pennsylvania. 
coming up next. have your attention? My name is Agent Rose Greenham, Director of Intelligence for the Office of Extraterritorial Investigations. America's Constitution prevents us from stopping you from seeing this film. Every day, we train to protect this nation from those that would defile its land and its people. The film Kexburg is nothing but propaganda about our organization. That is why we purchased advertising before this viewing, so you, the viewing public, can know the truth. Ulysses, 
was the first to see the threat of aliens and helped create an organization to stop them, the OEI. Yes, aliens are real, and they are among us. They could be your neighbor, your coworker, even your best friend, and they intend to destroy this nation from within. Wasting our natural resources, and when they finally strike, we will be powerless to fight back. The aliens will destroy our youth with their heretical technologies, rotting our children's brains from within. But the harder we work, the harder the enemy does also. Over the years, their techniques have advanced, and with their unwitting human allies like MUFON, turned us into symbols of evil and the subject of jokes in popular movies. But you can stop them. Reject their lies and join the fight to keep America pure, safe, and alien-free.